What is up, guys? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? New York Yankees fans expect the Yankees to make a move for a second-tier pitcher. I'm not talking about an ace. I'm talking about that other pitcher that the Yankees obtained that is not an ace or maybe kind of an ace, but is going to upgrade your rotation. As you guys know, I am not a big Domingo Hormon fan. I've said it numerous times. I think Loisaga has a better future than Domingo Herman. I can see Hermando being a great pitcher in the National League. Don't get me wrong. Domingo Herman is a great pitcher, but the Yankees wasted way too much time giving him starts when they could have experimented with their form. You guys know, if you guys have been following my channel for quite some time now, I released videos maybe close to two months ago stating, hey, what are you doing? Experiment while you have time with other pictures in your farm system. Stop giving all these starts to Herman. Sure, he debuted with a great outing. No hits through like six innings, right? But he showed instances where he's not consistent. He is maybe as inconsistent as Sonny Gray. And the Yankees kept wasting time with Domingo Herman. Rather than to experiment with what? Uh, Justice Sheffield. Or even Jonathan Loisiga. And not wasting time. They could have called up Jonathan Loisaga a long time ago. And we would have saw what the Yankees had with Loisaga. So now the Yankees are in a situation where they have to obtain two pitchers. Because they didn't experiment with their farm system. Domingo Herman can't be trusted. Period. He can't be trusted just like Sonny Gray. They got to trade those two pitchers. Or I know for a fact Domingo Herman is going to be gone. I know he's a trade chip. And I know at this point... Newspapers are writing about it. Uh, Sonny Gray is about to be traded as well. These guys can't be trusted, period. The Yankees are a playoff team. Imagine plugging one of those two pitchers come a big situation, and they just implode. You can't have that. Let's say if the Yankees don't trade him on. Just plug him in there in the bullpen. Have him as long relief. Replace him with A.J. Cole. Release A.J. Cole. I would prefer Herman in there than A.J. Cole. Just because Cole has been DFA'd already. And for the fact the Yankees keep uh, rotating him between the minor leagues and the major leagues. So I would prefer the Yankees stick with Herman, but plug him in there in the bullpen. He can't be a starting pitcher, period. He's just going to implode one of these big games, and it's just going to bite the Yankees in the you-know-what. Like I have said a million times, the Yankees can easily be buried by the Red Sox if they don't make the right decisions. The Red Sox are the hottest team in baseball Hotter than maybe the Houston Astros of last year, and they are dangerous. The Yankees need to go for the juggler. I keep telling you guys, stop living in denial. Stop with these delusions. You have to give up a player, a great player, to get another great player. When I mentioned the ground for Sanchez, shut the hell up. You know for a fact that if you want a pitcher that has a 1.68 ERA, nothing that has been seen in, in quite a long time, you have to give up a quality player to get a, another quality player back so stop it with that i'm sick and tired of seeing comments saying uh, uh, sanchez can't be traded who else would he give up for degrom then uh glaber torres no that's not going to happen and the horror i don't think so because he's not the quality of gary sanchez i'm sorry to say and the a great player but gary sanchez has a higher trade value then Miguel Andahor, already proven for a full season on the Major League level. Already proven. So if you want quality, you have to trade quality. And there's perfect replacements for him on the trading block. Ramos and Riamutu. So it's not that far-fetched. Be realistic here, folks. You want the Grom? You want all these aces? You're going to have to give up a real good player to obtain an ace. So, after Herman's implosion, I see the Yankees moving to obtain, maybe before the All-Star game, or after, right after, a second-tier pitcher. What that means is not the ace the Yankees are looking for, but that second pitcher the Yankees add to this, this rotation. Like a Matt Harvey, like a Nathan Evaldi, like a Jay Happ, like a Cole Hamels. I could see the Yankees trading for one of those four players before the All-Star Game or after the All-Star Game? In my opinion, it has to happen quick. The Red Sox are not slowing down. I'm telling you guys, the Red Sox could easily bury the New York Yankees if they continue 
on this win streak. Like I said, the Yankees need to absolutely go for their juggler. They have all the pieces. They're just wasting too much time, in my opinion. The Yankees need to make real big splashes. They need a rejuvenation, a jolt. They need that jolt that is going to help them overtake, finally, first place and be consistent and stay in first place. So for all the Yankees fans whining and complaining, oh, we need pitching, we need this and that, listen to yourselves. You need to train a quality player to get a quality player back. What other quality player are you going to give up? Because Andujar is not on the same level as Gary Sanchez. I'm sorry. Andujar is not on the same level of Glaber Torres. I'm sorry. It's just not going to work. Okay? If you want a nace, the Yankees are just going to have to deplete every prospect in the farm system just to obtain that one pitcher. Okay? But if you could do it with a current player on your roster, you do it. Because, like I said, there's a whole bunch of other options that you can take to replace that player. I saw a lot of people whining and complaining about the possibility of Real Mutu. Oh, Gary Sanchez is better than Real Mutu. No, he's not. G Gary Sanchez is definitely not defensively better than Real Mutu. Real Mutu is a great offensive player. So that right there, that replacement is there for the Yankees taking. Is there to even block the Astros from obtaining Real Mutu. I told people about Sonny Gray when it was not the popular thing to say. All my videos, all my articles, negative comments, negative likes... I told people what I really thought about the Mio Herman. Negative comments, negative likes. I told people what I thought about Gary Sanchez. Negative comments, negative likes. I mean, when the coaching staff and a whole bunch of ex-managers, coaches, etc. say the same thing about a player, I mean, it's quite logical if he has worth to trade him for an ace, okay? So, back in January, I put out videos and articles saying, hey, you got to trade Sonny Gray while he still has value, okay? He's not going to make it in New York. He's not built for New York. He is up there in age. Trade him while he still has value. People bashed me. People said this and that about me. The same way I'm saying that about Sonny Gray is the same thing I'm saying about Sanchez. As his value is still high up there, an ace, it might not be DeGrom, but he might just be worth an ace. That's all I'm saying. Okay? It's not going to, it's not like I'm saying it's gonna happen. But people think it is, and they get mad and they get furious. But you can't have everything you want. You can't have a DeGrom. You can't have a snail. You can't have all these great aces that could potentially land all the Yankees without giving quality back. Period. So Yankees fans expect the Yankees to make a trade for a second-tier pitcher. It might happen before the All-Star game. If it doesn't happen before the All-Star game, expect it to happen right after the All-Star game. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.